Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Today we're going to be taking a look at the QSP Harpy. Now this one was provided to the Apex Passaround Group from QSP. Now just a little side note, our good friend David from Blade Banner is a US QSP representative. So I have a feeling we could see a couple more QSP knives coming through here. I mean, QSP's always been good with giving us knives to review, and we greatly appreciate that, them giving us the opportunity to, to take a look. But now with David as a rep, who knows? Maybe. Let's zoom out a little bit and take a look at this guy. Well, first off, I'll show you. It does come in this pretty nice little pouch. Zipper pouch. QSP. But this is the QSP Harpy. Give you a little show side profile there. And clip side. Now as you can see, the Harpy's got the G10 carbon fiber combo handle. Gives it that nice bolstered look to it. A little bit of shimmer in that carbon fiber, which looks pretty darn good. See there, you got a little bit of milling on the G10. You do have a lanyard hole. And there's your clip side. Stainless steel liners. And they do have, you can kind of see there, they've got a decent amount of milling going on in there. For weight reduction, which is nice. I mean, we are we do have a little bit larger knife here. G10 backspacer, stainless steel pocket clip, right hand tip up carry. Move down to the blade. There, you got an S35 VN drop point blade. Got the two-tone, the black flats, then you got the satin grind, and then you've even got the satin on the swedge there. Looks really nice. But what's kind of cool is you got that fuller there. As you can see, it kind of narrows down as you come down towards the tip. Nice little touch there. Of course, you got your QSP logo. S35 VN. The Harpy's going to be a flipper. Got some decent jimping there, which grabs your finger real nice. Not aggressive, just, just enough. Eight in that flip. Riding on ceramic ball bearings. And it is a liner lock. I said it was a, it's a little bit bigger knife. So what you're looking at is you're looking at right about eight and a half inches fully open. I think our official measurement was like 8.55. So right in there, eight and a half. You're looking at about a four and three quarter inch handle. Just gonna give you right about a three and three quarter inch blade. That's definitely your cutting edge, is about three and three quarter. Your actual blade is just a touch, just a hair over. And then, of course, our grip length. Our grip length, we're looking at just, just over four inches on the grip length. Not quite four and a quarter, but just over four. So that's kind of how it looks in my three and three quarter inch hand. Definitely got a decent amount of handle left over. For those of you with a little bit larger hand, some room to play with there. 
Let's get a weight on it. Like I said, you're talking about an eight and a half inch knife. So it's going to have a little weight to it, but we do have that milling going on. So in grams, 130 and 4.6 ounces. For the size of knife you get, it's not too bad. And here again, since it is a bigger knife, four and a half, four and a half ounces isn't too bad. It carried, carried really well in pocket. Clip's got good retention, smooth in and out of pocket. That's what you got left over. Once it's in there, oh, maybe a little less. Oh, yeah, a little less. We'll get it up there. So we're going to be just shy of that half inch. That's kind of standard on most knives. Just shy. Good retention on the clip. Got some good springiness to it. My overall take on it, guys. You know, I've, I've reviewed quite a few QSP knives, and it just seems like there's always been one thing. One thing that just kind of turned me off from it. Well, you know what? I can tell you what. That this knife doesn't really have that. Now, you remember with the QSP Puffin, and rumor has it, that the Puffin was a, a two-handed opening knife that had just an insane action on it. That action was amazing, and I really felt it went to waste on a two-handed knife. Now, of course, it did have the opening, and I mean, I'm not—I wasn't coordinated enough to flick it open. Some people were, so there, because it was set pretty deep. But if that ha would have had thumb studs on it, it would have probably been one of my favorite knives of 2019. You know, there's just little things like that. This knife, it doesn't have that. This is a really, really solid knife, guys. I'll talk about it in a minute. The only thing that is a detractor, but it's not the knife's fault. It's my fault, so I can't. But the action on it, really smooth. As I said... A little bit of shake to shut. What's our centering look like? Pretty darn good. Might be off to the clip side just a little bit. But let's check. I mean, it's good. It's locked up. What's our lock up? Oh, that's going to be really hard to see. And of course, I probably hid my light for myself. Now, here it is. Let's see. What's our lockup? Sorry guys, I gotta take it off. Cause it's a little high. Oh my goodness. I mean it's well we're looking at it's really hard to see. I don't think I can get it close enough. But I'm gonna say probably about 30% on the lockup. So not too bad at all. The blade. I like the two-tone. I like the swedge. As I said, the jimping, jimping is done very, very well. It's nice. Got a good depth. Good spacing. Very, very well done. The choil, I mean, with that recurve, I mean, that's kind of what you're looking at. You got a little bit of a shark's tooth going on there. Now, like I said, the one detractor... For the knife, and I said it, that's it. It falls on me. It doesn't fall on the knife, and that's of course the recurve blade. Just because I'm still not very good at sharpening recurves, and that's just because it just need. I just need practice. But I should get me a little cheapy knife with a recurve on it and just go to town. But definitely, that's not the knife's fault. That's my, all me. Nice drop point. The handle, as I said, really, really nice looking. That carbon fiber bolster on that G10. The black G10 and then that, just that little bit of difference in the carbon fiber, that kind of charcoal. And like I said, when the light hits it right, a nice little, little bit of life to it, some zing to it. Looks really, really good. In hand, 
very, very comfortable knife for me. Very comfortable. I can feel the clip. I mean, I know it's there. Not an issue. Doesn't impede the grip at all. Feels really good in hand. Good access to the liner. Plus, they give you a little bit of jimping on the liner there. Not an issue at all. Get in there very easily to actuate the lock. Very, very nice. And as I said, pretty smooth action. And then our close-up. Carbon fiber. G10. All chamfered pretty darn well. Does get a little thin down here. But it's not sharp. It's not tacky or anything. Good attention was paid to it. You know, to see that it wasn't. Liners, good attention paid to the liners. They've got just enough to make them nice, clean. Really, really solid knife from QSP. Very, very happy. It, it makes me very happy to see that, guys. It, it really does. Because, you know, if you know, I've said it before in my reviews, I start out, before I even unbox a knife, I'm going to, I'm going to love this knife. That's where I start. And the knife has to prove me wrong. And some do. Some have little things. But, again, like a recurve blade. But that's not the knife's fault. That's my fault. Otherwise, very, very solid offering from QSP. Have to thank them very much. Thank David very much for allowing us to check this one out. Blue gave it an 8.5. That's pretty much, if it's a good solid offering of a knife from a company, that, that's pretty much standard of what Blue's going to give it, is a 9. You know, if there's a little extras thrown in there, or excuse me, an 8.5, the little extras, it's probably going to go up from there. Or down, just depending. But that's kind of, that's pretty much his standard for a good solid offering, which... The QSP Harpy definitely is. Thanks again to QSP and thanks again to you guys for hanging out with me, checking out the Harpy. I greatly appreciate it as always. Guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I love talking to you. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.